Hi, I'm Bob Birch with the eExtension Network Literacy Community of Practice, and I want to show you how you can expand your personal learning network by following people by using Twitter lists. So what are Twitter lists? Let me show you. Twitter lists are lists that you can put together on your Twitter profile um, in order to help keep track of certain people, categorize them, and you can really use them very effectively to filter your Twitter feed. But you can also use other people's Twitter lists in order to grow your Twitter network. Let me show you what I mean. I'm logged in here to Twitter and I'm looking at my, my Twitter feed here. And if I want to expand my network by using Twitter lists, I could check out if any of the people that I follow have created a Twitter list. So let's check out map at Syst here. And you'll see here's the profile summary that comes up on Twitter. In order to actually see any lists that this Twitter user has made, I need to actually go to their full profile. So I'm going to click that. And now that I'm on the full profile for this uh, Twitter user, you'll see over here on the left, there's a link for lists. And when I click that, um, it's going to show me any lists that this user has created or that they are a member of. So this user hasn't created any lists, but they're a member of a list that was created by Ann Adrian called Cooperative Extension. And if I click on that list, I can see all the tweets from the 487 members of this particular list. Now I can do a couple of things with this. I could subscribe to this whole list. So I can just subscribe to the list and basically I'll see the tweets from these 487 members. That could be really handy uh, rather than going through them one by one. But if 487 seems like too big a number and you want to sort of be picky about who you follow, you can click on the 487 members here, see that list of members, and then based on their username and bio, or if you want to click in to their profile and see their tweets, you can decide whether to follow that person uh, or not and be more selective uh, in that. So that's a great way to expand your Twitter network Check out the people who you already follow. Take a look and see if they are members of or if they have created any Twitter lists that can help you find more people to add to your network.